all brick homes located in Lake Carolina. Now we're in the backyard. It is an open backyard, but it backs up to a green space. We've got a lot of privacy back here. And the house does have a screened in porch. But as you can see, we've got some nice cypress trees here, to Leland Cypress, to give you some privacy. Got the ceiling fan. We've got a nice buffer of trees here. And it does have speakers out here that you can connect to the entertainment center inside. I'd like to welcome you inside 218 Faversham Lane in beautiful Lake Carolina. This is a lovely all brick home in an all brick community here in Canterbury Park. It is three bedrooms and two baths does have a bonus room over the garage. So in the foyer, obviously we've got the hardwoods here, real hardwoods. This is the uh, entrance, of course, into our garage. It does have a sprinkler system. It's got a little extra storage over off to the left there by the water heater. So as soon as you come in, we've got the, uh, of course, the foyer, the kitchen is off to the left. Let's just take a look here. We've got double doors going into a very deep uh, washroom for your full-size washer and dryer. you got some cabinets and shelves here, uh, tile floors. Let's backtrack a little bit. We'll go into the kitchen. It does have an eat-in kitchen with this really pretty tile, uh, diamond-shaped tile. And then in the dining area here, we've got this very high vault and an extra little window, uh, half circle above the main window. So here you can see the entire kitchen. This large cabinet here is your pantry. So you've got a lot of shelves and storage there. Of course, dishwasher, garbage disposal stove, built-in microwave. Also did the diamond style tile behind uh, on the backsplash here. And you'll notice the cabinets have the crown molding above them. A high-end uh, refrigerator, side by side with the dispenser. And you've got your nice window above the sink. So from the kitchen leads directly here into the living room. The living room's got some nice upgrades. It has a gas log fireplace. As you can see, it also has built-in speakers. So you've got a built-in surround sound system that's here inside this cabinet. All the wires are brought inside the cabinet. And you can see how high the ceilings are, very high uh, in, this, in this room. Uh, there's our access to the screen porch. But inside the cabinet here, you've got room for a television. You've got your cords there that you can hook the speakers up to. So as we pan around the room here a bit, um, I'll show you the rear speakers. They are built into the, to the ceiling back there. So you've got a nice theater effect in here when watching movies or listening to music. And those wires are what connects the audio system to the screen porch as well. So we're going to take a look here into the master bedroom. It's got some upgrades. It's got a tray ceiling, ceiling fan. And you'll notice the ceilings are stippled. It's kind of a texture design. Now the ceiling fan in the living room and in the master bedrooms, they have these switches where you can change the speed of the fan and the brightness of the light from the switch so you don't have to jump up there and pull on the cord and pull on the chain. It does have a walk-in closet. We've got a good bit of space in here. Let's take a look around the room.
Next we'll take a look at the master bathroom. It's got nice tile floors. It does have a separate tub and shower. It's got this nice glass block window. And also in here you've got the speakers if you wanted to listen to your music in here. And off here is the stand-up shower. And again, we've got your speaker in here. So you can listen to the music or whatever's on TV while you're in the shower. It's got dual sinks here. Very interesting light fixtures. They're actually uh, supposed to be towels hanging and drying. It's pretty cool. So we're going to leave the master bedroom, go back in the living room and hang a right. This is going to take us down the hall where the other two bedrooms are located. So we've got a bedroom here, ceiling fans in both bedrooms, and also they don't have the switches to dim the light or change the fan speed, but they do I have separate switches, one for the light fixture and one for the fan. So that's nice, you don't have to uh, pull the switch to turn the fan on or off versus the light. It does have a little, kind of a mini walk-in, big enough to need a light. And then we have a linen closet here. Another full bath here at the end of the hall. Again with our tile floors, single vanity, of the same style light fixtures. One of the nice things is it has this little window above the shower, so you've got some natural light here in the bathroom. And then this final bedroom on the back corner of the house has our ceiling fan. It's a little bit smaller than the other, so this is the smallest bedroom of the three. But we'll go up and take a look at the bonus room here in just a minute. It's quite large. Again, it's kind of like a mini walk-in. It's deep enough to need a light. Let's just take a look around the bedroom one last time. Okay, now we're upstairs in the bonus room. Bonus room over the garage. We've got a little area here that kind of juts out where you could have a computer or some kind of desk or something. We do have a ceiling fan. And another area over there. That door gives you access to the attic area. You can store some things in there. So you could use this as another bedroom, it just doesn't have a closet. All right, we appreciate you watching our video today. Check out more information at turnerproperties.com. Thanks.